So I, I was mm-hmm. a jobless after doing the graduation. So SDT is um. I would say a new role more than the Q and Q automation. People are a bit hesitant to choose testing profile as a career. I think that uh, there is no future in the testing. Hey everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. I'm sure you guys have seen the thumbnail. So this podcast will be about the testing profile because a lot of people were requesting me to cover something related to testing and QA related profile. So in this podcast, our guest who is actually working in a really good product based company, Walmart, he will be talking about different job profiles available in testing domain, which you are not aware of. And those profiles are really really demanding nowadays apart from that when and how did he choose testing as a career profile what is the typical interview process in different product based companies what kind of skill sets you need to have different profiles its roles and responsibilities and at the end he will also share his thoughts about the salary comparison between software and testing profile so this podcast will be really informative for you for sure so make sure to give a thumbs up for better reach and if you are new to my channel then make sure to subscribe and press the notification icon and thanks to cryo.do for sponsoring this video cryo.do is a kind of platform which believes in learning by doing if you are someone who is targeting really good product based companies and lacking in most demanding skills like a back end development related full stack development related and front end development related so this is the go to platform for you guys they have created some really extensive program which covers lots of lots of real world problems which you can add in your resume to stand out from the crowd and to gain good expertise in these kind of skill sets they are majorly focusing on full stack development programs and back end development related programs you can see all the important details here the kind of real world projects you will be getting to work with and the kind of latest technical skills they are covering definitely very extensive program with good mentorship support and doubt resolving sessions good number of projects and micro skilling exercises they are also running one another amazing program which is fellowship program in software development where this point is really amazing placement guarantees so definitely this is a go to platform for you free trial is available for all the programs you can definitely check that out and don't forget to check the link which is in the description because that can be really helpful for you when you will click on that link you will be landed on this home page where you can see one coupon code will be activated for you and you can use it to get extra 10% off along with good percentage for the scholarship and these will be the free perks which will is still available for you you can definitely use it for any sort of guidance so hurry up check this platform as soon as possible because this coupon will be only valid till 30th september so thank you so much nitin for joining this podcast and uh, i hope this session will be really helpful for the uh, folks because lots of subscriber were asking uh to cover a podcast related to the testing profile qa profile so i thought uh, yeah this is the right time and i hope you will share your best experience so it would be really yeah. great if you can give your short introduction and about your academics background uh, sure sure hi hi shashank uh, thanks for having me here so uh, my name is nitin and uh, so i am currently working as an sdet 3 uh, with walmart global tech india and uh, so i have done my graduation uh, from guru jambeshwar university of science and technology from computer science mm-hmm. and that i have done in the 2017 and I, right now i'm having 3.5 years of experience in qa and qa automation field did you choose a testing profile by your own interest or something happened randomly or just it came into your bucket uh, so to be very honest also i didn't choose this path uh, uh, from my own so it just came to me randomly so i, I was mm-hmm. a jobless after doing the graduation so around 5 to 6 months so i was looking for jobs i was giving interviews a bit any profile it doesn't matter it is a development profile or a testing profile so so i was giving i trying to do and getting for any of the job so uh, this then this uh, monotype came into the picture i mean the, com- the my first company so i interviewed for them and then i was able to clear the round and then i joined as an qa trainee so i thought that uh, after joining i might switch to development profile uh, let's join because uh, they are giving me good stipend at that time mm-hmm. so i joined the company so i will move to development some after it and I'll, I'll keep going to give the interviews uh, if mm-hmm. something works well, so I can move to development. Do you mind, like, if I can, if I can ask this, like, what was the reason, like, uh, <clears throat> you were not into the corporate world for the five six months after your uh, graduation? So, uh, I mean, after doing graduation, I joined a company uh, as a PHP developer. Uh, that mm-hmm. was a very small company around. Uh, there were only ten people in the company, and okay. so some things didn't work out between us. And uh, there, mm-hmm. there is one more friend that we both joined the same company. so we both left after a week or so so after okay. that i started preparing for better companies i thought uh, so let's give some time uh, to mm-hmm. study and uh, try to find out a better product company so mm-hmm. then uh, in the meantime uh, when i was jobless uh, for 5 months so i was studying mm-hmm. uh, preparing for the interviews and brushing up my coding skills uh, even in the market there is a lot of noise about different different profile so it would be really great if you can even talk about different profiles 
available in the testing domain and how they are different with each other so a uh, majorly in qa domain there are uh, three profiles uh, i would say so one is the qa manual testing profile one is the qa automation engineer profile and the one is the okay. sdet profile okay so uh, if i talk about the qa manual profile so in that uh, people you just uh, do uh, do the manual testing they write the test cases and do the manual testing like function testing integration testing stress testing okay mm -hmm. and uh, qa automation so and queen queue automation basically what uh, ideally used to happen is so they just do the they get the test cases from the manual team and do the automation uh, from any of the language like java javascript python okay and uh, then comes the uh, sdt role so sdt is um, i would say a new role more than the queue and queue automation so it mm -hmm. includes basically everything like as a manual they they are doing manual testing they are doing uh, queue automation as well they are doing uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, other than this so they i mean companies like amazon microsoft they prefer sdt with the development experience so uh, so okay. sdt is not just limited to the doing the uh, automation or the testing so they should know the development they should know the devops part as well they don't need to uh, develop an application so, so mm -hmm. for example uh, qa automation is doing automation using a framework so that framework okay. is developed by the sdt so for that they should oh. know good coding part it would be great even like you can talk about the actual role and responsibility of a tester on a higher level we definitely know but if something are hidden like which people don't know about a testing role and testing profile it would be great if you can share that so a uh, testing is basically a very major part of uh, development life cycle so uh, we mm -hmm. do get the requirements from the product team product managers and uh, developers do the development for according to the requirements then the testers mm -hmm. came into the picture so testers basically did do is i mean after getting the developed product so they do the testing and uh, they write the test cases and they do the all kind of testing like feature testing integration testing security testing and mm -hmm. load testing as a performance testing so all the testing uh, come into the part of the manual i mean not manual testers so testers only so that's the okay. basic role of the tester so right now it is not just limited to the testing so now if you are going for the interview of tester so they are expecting much more than testing people are a bit hesitant to choose testing profile as a career path there could be multiple reasons for that and right. especially i have seen freshers uh, they definitely don't like it at all like uh, i definitely want to be a developer programmer coder something something but uh, testing is something which they usually avoid what is the primary reason behind it since you have uh, been into this situation right so what did you think right what are the prime reasons for that so uh, most of the fresher thing that uh, there is no future in the testing so i mean uh, even i used to heard that so there there will be some automation going on that will just clear wipe out the testing role from the it industry i don't think that is going to happen very soon so right now i there is mm -hmm. everyone is getting job manual tester are getting job automation engineers are getting job so, uh, there are i mean so many jobs in the market for the people i mean in, in there are so many jobs for the testers basically and there are less people than the jobs mm -hmm. okay because mostly people yeah. if somebody is good in coding they use they prefer go, going to the development profile they think that this mm -hmm. is more challenging challenging than the testing but uh, testing is equally challenging because you must need to know the complete product to do the good testing uh, everything you need yeah. to interact with the product managers you need to interact with the developers and you should know the architecture of mm -hmm. the uh, complete application so so yeah, yeah i think this is the major concern uh, among freshers and also the salary wise definitely so now uh, mm -hmm. the pressure thing that uh, testers are not getting a good salary as compared to developers somewhere it is true mm -hmm. but not uh, exactly true yeah they are getting good salary i would say but that totally depends okay. on the uh, role in the company what is the typical interview process for a testing profile what all things candidate needs to prepare before going into any of the testing related interview and i think most uh, often doubt is like do we also need to be good at coding like pro level coding or something like that so it would be great you you can uh, throw some light on uh, on this one uh, for if i talk about the freshers if they are interviewing for the testing role fresher this specifically so uh, for testers they are i mean they interview not expecting that much things so they just if mm -hmm. somebody is knowing ha having good hand on one coding uh, one coding language like java javascript or python and they just know the uh, databases and the system design part little bit not lot of high level system design on the low level just the basic system design okay so they are good with the mm -hmm. interview but if i talk about the experience people like yeah. for example if somebody is having 3 or 4 years of years of experience uh, in mm -hmm. automation or maybe the manual testing they want to move to the sdt role okay and going through the basically uh, the product product organization so they are expecting mm -hmm. a good hands on coding so it is very much equivalent to sdt role so for example i have been interviewed with amazon and for the sdt role 
so mm-hmm. uh, they they ask me a lead code medium problem lead code hard problem problem and uh, mm-hmm. not just the amazon many more uh, startups basic uh, like zeta hotstar these like companies so they are mm-hmm. expecting same kind of level as as per the uh, sd because mm-hmm. salary range is the same and the role is big challenging right. then the interview should be uh, more difficult so yes okay. the coding is definitely required uh, i think if somebody is solving problems over lead code or hacker and uh, any other, or any other platform so yeah mm-hmm. interview are expecting the coding but but how about the uh, like manual testing related profiles and the automation testing related profiles specifically uh, what would be the level uh, of the interview for these profiles if i mean if i talk about the service service based companies interview level so they basically mm-hmm. ask so there is one tool selenium okay right selenium is for the ui automation so mostly mm-hmm. people ask selenium related question uh, how you can automate this thing how you can Uh, log in to somewhere so any uh, automation scenario they ask how do you how, how you okay. will do using selenium okay mm-hmm. and did they i mean if somebody is interviewing for the testing role uh, they should know the database for sure and uh, it be it okay. sql be it no sql okay mm-hmm. and uh, other than this i mean if uh, from the coding language perspective uh, they just simply ask oops concept like uh, what is polymorphism what is the difference between app section and the interface uh, interfaces these kind of questions mm-hmm. basic questions basic java question okay. basic java from the beginning somebody wants to uh, move into the testing profile so what would be the correct road map for that and even let's say entry level fresher who wants to gain good expertise on the uh, testing side so if you can talk about some crisp road map and if you think that these are some important tool and tech stack which candidate or which uh, people should definitely know in this testing profile so uh, for getting into the testing role uh, as a fresher so one should know selenium if they uh, somebody is knowing the selenium um, they must mm-hmm. be preferred over other people okay okay uh, selenium is the one thing test ng they can learn for doing the test management also uh, mm-hmm. one basic thing so for the fresher uh, interviewer mostly asked to write some test cases for very basic scenarios like login page you need to write multiple mm-hmm. test cases try to catch as many edge edge cases uh, while writing the test cases so writing test cases is a must thing for getting into the testing role and the selenium i already mentioned a test ng and one database if mysql is there then that is the best so if somebody is knowing this all these things and also yeah one programming language for sure java i would say so mostly people prefer java so mm-hmm. uh, i definitely recommend learn java basics uh, core java concepts so that would be very helpful for clearing it so future wise which one is better like the manual or automation testing and also i, I would as a just just a curiosity i would like to know the kind of work for the manual tester like uh, testing something like clicking on button or anything like that i'm just curious like i haven't seen them uh, doing this stuff uh, mm-hmm. so i want to know it from you like from future perspective which one is better so uh, for future perspective i would definitely say automation is uh, like automation is better than manual but i am not saying like aut- only automation so if somebody is doing mm-hmm. automation they should always know manual i mean if somebody is into the testing domain they are just doing the mm-hmm. automation if they don't know mm-hmm. the manual testing part how they will write the automation good automation okay mm-hmm. so uh, i mean manual should always be there i mean uh, uh, but yeah for i am what i am seeing from recent pattern is uh, interviewers are prefer preferring automation people over the manual people because for even even for the manual role for example if some some company is looking for the manual tester they will try to uh, onboard a pe- onboard a person uh, who knows the automation at least basic automation Okay. okay so in in future if uh, there comes any requirement for doing the automation they just no don't need to hire, mm-hmm. hire another but i think you already talked about the salary comparison between sd and tester but uh, probably you, you covered it for the sd et profile and uh, in the good product based companies how is the situation in the service based form like uh, testers are equally treated as the software profile in terms of compensation or is it different uh, uh, in service based organization Uh, there is a huge gap between developer and the tester salary so uh, mm-hmm. for example if some company is having a group of freshers in the training mm-hmm. training period okay so if somebody is performing very well they move t- them to the developer profile development profile and if okay. somebody is performing lower than them so they move to the some other profile like testing support engineer okay mm-hmm. so th- from there only uh, the uh, the difference started okay so right. from very basic level so yes there mm-hmm. is a huge difference in service organization yeah so in but in product uh, organization uh, so there is also different i i don't say that is equivalent to sds sdts mm-hmm. are also getting less salary than sds 
but that is difference around a 5 to 10% from the SDs, from the same level what's your thought like do product based companies like uh, hire for testing related profiles frequently or very less opportunities even let's say less opportunities for freshers but uh, good opportunities for experience so what's your thought on this one like in the in this entire journey what you have experienced because you were also uh, jobless for a couple of months then hunting for job and then moving from those companies to good product based companies so what's your thought uh, yes i mean if if i talk about the product based organization uh, they don't usually prefer freshers uh, for okay. the testing role okay they usually prefer the experience at least one year's experience of uh, big i must i am just talking about the big product companies Okay. okay, startups. So I mean, one can definitely go to startups if uh, product based startup. I am saying, uh, if somebody is mm-hmm. going to startup, they uh, they can see the impact they are making in in the startup. Okay, mm-hmm. and uh, so, so yeah, I mean, going to and also they can fresher can also start with the service based or company. So for example, mm-hmm. if somebody is going to service based company as a fresher, they can learn good good. Uh, they can get good knowledge of automation and the testing profile from there. And mm-hmm. after one or uh, two years, they can simply move to the uh, product. It, it's not like uh, product companies are not calling service service based people. So okay. in even in my in my organization, there are many people from the service based organization. If you are looking for a better salary and you don't want to go to service based, you can join definitely join a startup. So startups are uh, eagerly hiring for the as uh, SDT role freshers. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, they are also offering very good salary and uh, complete package. All right. I mean, that's that's great. I mean, uh, Nitin, you clarified most of the questions, uh, genuine questions, which people had related to the testing profile, future compensation, interview process, everything we have mostly covered. I hope our audience would have enjoyed this entire uh, session. Uh, I really like the information, uh, like the secrets or the hidden parts you talked about the testing profile. Uh, so from my side and my audience side, a uh, big, big thanks to you, Nitin, uh, for joining this podcast and sharing your wonderful experience with us. So that was all about in this podcast, guys. I hope you would have enjoyed it, the entire conversation with Nitin, whatever experience he has shared about the testing profile. And I'm pretty sure now your doubts are pretty clear that what kind of job profiles in the testing domain, how you can pick it up and what are the different roles and responsibilities of these profiles. So if you enjoyed the conversation, then make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, press the notification icon. I will see you guys in the next weekend with another amazing podcast. Till then, just stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself and your family too.